The other day, I uploaded a video sharing a text conversation from someone claiming to be from Instacart wanting to get me on the phone. And many people commented, that sounded like a scam. That's a scam. So I'm going to leave that up because scams like that happen all the time. However, yesterday I received a phone call um, early in the afternoon to me confirmed that it's not a scam. Someone's being mean to me, nasty, assuming. So this video is about getting it straight because I happened to feel, I understood what they said to me. However, it, and, and, it, and it was said to me in a very sick way. They changed their voice. They were like, Mary, I'm sorry. I mean, just really disgusting. And then they said something else about, I believe what they said. Why they were saying it like, why doesn't anyone love me? I mean, really in a sick way. I just hung up and I went about my business because I just started my day. And yesterday during the day, deliveries were good. I hung in there yesterday. It was Passover and Good Friday. And I hung in there and I got a lot done and I earned money and I broke, I, I, I reached 130. Anyway, I just turned it off and I went about my business. So I'm here to set you straight. I have a, I'm building up my own successful channels and I have people who have been following me for years, but I also follow people on my level, about three to 4,000 subscribers. We're trying to build a business, earn a little extra income. It's supposed to be fun. This is supposed to be a good thing, but now I'm here to set you straight. And I'm also here to inform the mentally unstable individual who's doing this to me at an adult stage of their life. I can't imagine my videos appeal to children, teenagers or 20 year olds. I just can't, you know. Yeah, let's be real, but I'm here to set you straight. I'm letting it be known. I'm not fearful, not at all. And I'm also going to give you, I'm going to share my past with you so you get it straight, why I am where I am. And to also let you know, I'm not afraid. Stay tuned. Most people have a past. Most people lived several different chapters. They have several different chapters in their lives. Um, some people meet their significant other in their teens and married for 40, 50 years. For me, I fell in love very young. I went through some very dark days alone. I was blamed for a lot and Looking back at 53 with life experience as a well-balanced individual, I realized how sick and warped it was and very unfair to a young person, a child. However, that's, that's what happened to me, made me stronger. Fast forward, late in my teens, I did really like someone, I mean, I was head over heels and he knew it. I was used for sex. It happens to many people. Again, went through a handful of years. Nobody really knew, heartbroken, you know. But I handled it like a mature individual. You know, I, it did build low self-esteem. I set myself short. I was always, in my opinion, Surrounded by the type of people that undervalued my worth, like to keep me down because they were at a level that felt, don't let her surpass this. Just, she can only be so happy because I'm so happy at this level. If you look around, if you, if you look, if you finally get to a point in life that you can help yourself without medication, Ride out some dark days, and I did. 
by myself some really dark nights. It happens, but it made me who I am today. Fast forward a little more. In my 20s, I dated an older man that was crazy about me, loved me. I had to end it because he wanted to spend the rest of his life with me. It was a huge age gap. And he showed me how, if you're loved, how someone's supposed to love you. In my opinion, just my opinion. But it was very unfair. It would have been very unfair to me, uh, to him. And unfair to myself, you know, if I followed through with the proposal. I was proposed to. I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I'll have children for you, Michelle. Couldn't do it. And at that time, I probably would have, I would have had one kid. I always said, most of my life, I said, if I ever got pregnant in my 40s, I would have one. At this stage of my life, yes, the mechanics still work. I have to be very careful. I have a little fun. However, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to have a child now at 53. I would adopt a child and adopt an older child and give them a great life. And I've said that for years. I would love to adopt a child who had an unfair start. That would make me very happy. Anyway, it would have been selfish to him. It would have been, I would have been very selfish. I needed to be selfless, no matter how much it broke his heart. And fearing being alone, because when you know someone loves you that much and you walk away, you, I haven't found anyone that liked me that much. No way. Fast forward again. I dated a couple of times, had a few flings. That was all right. They did good. Bravo. And just a few years ago, at my last job, somebody, I wasn't physically attracted, but he said all the right things. And when I let my guard down and was open to it, I said, this guy's saying the right things. Maybe you're wrong, Michelle. Maybe you should stop thinking the way you used to and be more open-minded to someone who's saying the right things to you. He immediately wrote back how he does date. He is with other people. I wasn't interested in that. I thought he was on the same page as me. It's hard to find people our age with the same things in common. And I was really turned off. And I just never looked at the guy again. I was attracted to someone else, but hey, I wasn't who I wanted to be to start a relationship what, in a way that I used to be. And that was very hard starting over. I went through, again, very dark days, um, very struggling days of becoming who I wanted to be instead of being around people, be grateful you got a job. Why don't you just go to work? Just stay who you are. I don't want to stay who I was years ago. I enjoyed being in the service industry for a long time. I took a lot of pride in serving good quality food, serving food, how people want, wanted it prepared. Um, I was, it, it just got to a point where it was time to start over and people got very mad at me. You're like, she's going to go live the life she wants to live. Well, I worked for it. I worked for it. So now we fast forward again. I'm here. I'm about to live a life that I worked for. I did the struggling. I saw what was happening in the world. I really truly believe 15, 20 years ago when I got a computer, the wave of the future is going to be self-sufficiency. I couldn't put it into words, but I knew I, I knew where I was headed and I needed to change. I developed new skills. I put together a business online. I become self-sufficient with all the apps and like right now, I'm learning, I'm doing my own taxes. I'm learning new apps. I'm doing everything on the fly. I'm starting a new business. I started an online business. I help other people do the same that want to help themselves. I motivate people. I'm showing them the way, the way it is. I'm showing them the way it is. And what's going down in this world now, which we'll save for another video because there's so much more to share with you. I have to step back. And I said I wasn't going to do lives for a while, and I'm not. Um, 
I'm going to perfect my skills even more, develop better quality videos, and take it from there. But I'm a motivator. I'm, I, I'm someone, if I see somebody who really wants to change their lives for the better, instead of staying the same, you can always change your surroundings. Stop being around people that are living the way you don't want to live anymore. You want more. I'm not sorry. I'm going to live a lifestyle that people watch on TV, dream about. I, I feel... I did the hard time and I'm still doing it and I'm headed. Now I'm just babbling. But the point is, get it straight. Get it straight. You calling me, saying that kind of stuff to me? You're out of your goddamn picking mind. Who the hell do you think you're speaking to? And that's the way you act as an adult? Because, I, again, I cannot imagine a teenager or a young 20-something would be that hateful toward me or find my intro my videos interesting enough to watch and listen to come on come on be real let's all be real <laughs> i just don't see it someone my age and relatable life experience doing the same thing i could rattle off a bunch of channels who watch me i usually do i'm the shout out girl Okay, I thought I would do a lot of videos to produce this video. I don't need to. I told it like it is. Now you got it straight. This is a choice. And now I'm ready. I'm open-minded. I want to I meet someone who is a part of who I am today and where I'm headed. And by the way, if you're not a strong person and you're weak, don't bother me. Don't bother me. Because not many people would make the choices I did out of fear of being alone. A lot of people don't want to be alone, that they settle. And then they look back and they go, you know, they're miserable. Well, not many people have what it takes. It was hard to walk away. It was, it was very hard on me to watch me hurt someone the way I did someone who was willing to have a family with me who didn't want children. He would have said anything to keep me. And going down a path of loneliness because I knew it's going to be many, many years before someone loves me the way he loved me. I'll see you in the next video clip. I hope you found this interesting. Bye, guys.